Hello YouTube, on today's episode of Know Your Rights, we will be covering a lawsuit for excessive force use out of Topeka, Kansas. If that sounds interesting to you, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, I would like to let you know about my second YouTube channel I have started called Retro Gaming Central. My new channel will cover all things in the retro gaming genre. If that sounds interesting to you, please click on the link in the description below to subscribe to Retro Gaming Central. A trial date has been set in a federal civil lawsuit filed by a Topeka, Kansas man against a Topeka police officer. Timothy Harris argues in his lawsuit that Topeka police officer Christopher Janes used excessive force during his traffic stop and his arrest in January 2018, infringing on his Fourth Amendment rights. Officer Janes shoved Mr. Harris to the ground, punched him, then sprayed him with pepper spray, according to Mr. Harris. Officer Janes claims in a court filing that Mr. Harris grew belligerent and resisted arrest, requiring him to use increasingly higher degree of force to obtain control. Officer Janes is actually seeking nearly $40,000 in legal fees and expenses. A jury trial has been scheduled for May 31, 2022. The city of Topeka, Kansas had been named as defendant, but as of this moment, it has been dropped from the litigation. Mr. Harris was allegedly sitting in his car with his girlfriend on January 23, 2018, when Officer Janes approached him and began questioning him according to the lawsuit. Mr. Harris had a warrant out for his arrest for breaking probation in a misdemeanor narcotics possession case, according to court filings. Officer Janes had also responded earlier in the day to a report from a lady who said Mr. Harris had taken her laptop and other belongings from her. According to the lawsuit, when Mr. Harris came out of the car, the officer handcuffed his hands behind his back, then dragged him to the ground, kneed him in the back, hit him in the face repeatedly, and sprayed him with pepper spray. Mr. Harris had lacerations on his face and a broken jaw, according to the lawsuit. Mr. Harris also refused medical attention the night of his arrest, according to the incident report. Mr. Harris is seeking $1 million in compensatory damages, according to court filings. Mr. Harris is also seeking nearly $200,000 in legal fees and expenses. The lawsuit was filed in September 2018. Mr. Harris had made no additional complaints about this incident previously to the filing of the lawsuit. Mr. Harris was eventually found guilty of unlawful parallel parking and interfering with a law enforcement officer in Topeka Municipal Court records, but charges of violating a legitimate police order and violence on an officer were withdrawn. After an internal review, Topeka Police Department stated that Officer Janes acted reasonably. Well, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Know Your Rights. Please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, YouTube, stay safe out there.